Last year our plant became part of a large production association in Krasnodar Krai that produces medical drugs. We got new orders, and we expanded production. This required the purchase of equipment for automatic application of labels. Previously the procedure of gluing labels was done manually, which did not provide the necessary productivity and the necessary quality of gluing. I, Levina Vigor Petrovich, have been working at the company for more than 30 years, 15 of them as a chief engineer. All production at the plant I know well. Modernization at our plant was practically not carried out, and after the accession we had the opportunity to update the production equipment. I was tasked with finding automatic equipment for self-adhesive labels, for penicillin vials in the packing and shipping area. I have many acquaintances in the manufacturing industry. So, the first thing I did was to seek their advice in finding automatic equipment for self-adhesive labels for penicillin bottles. I understood that the field of production of my colleagues was different from that of our company, that they could recommend me good manufacturers of equipment, whom I could turn to for help in choosing a machine. There are a lot of nuances in the production of medicinal products, which must be taken into account at all stages, controlled by various analytical equipment, including the application of labels. My colleagues recommended me two manufacturers in Germany. I found their data on the internet and sent them an email asking to select equipment according to my requirements. Two days later I got a reply from one company saying that they had a labeling machine with specifications given, but it was only suitable for plastic bottles. Another company refused to work with us, as they don't work with CIS countries. On the same advice of colleagues, I did not contact Chinese manufacturers directly. My acquaintances told me that equipment manufacturers from China often deliver incomplete equipment, citing inaccurate information on the required parameters of the machine. I could not take that risk, so I decided to choose a Russian-speaking reseller to search for automatic equipment for labeling bottles. I needed a professional who had been working for a long time in the field of supplying pharmaceutical equipment and had positive customer feedback. I started the search for a specialist on the internet. I chose three of the most presentable companies. As a criterion I looked at the time the company has been on the equipment supply market, the company's website, the terms of delivery of the machine. I called to all the companies by phone in order to be sure of the manager's professionalism. The specialist of one company said to wait for five minutes, but never listened to me. I didn't like this attitude to the customer. The manager of another company talked to me politely asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, terms of production. In five days I got 10 variants of various labeling machines from them, and the offer to choose the equipment by myself. I realized that they did not have a professional approach, and would not help me in my decision to find equipment for labeling. The last, third option of a middleman from Moscow, turned out to be good for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about production capacity, material of the bottles used, accuracy of marking. He chose automatic equipment for gluing self-adhesive labels for penicillin bottles, which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. The machine was acceptable in terms of features and price. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The manager reported the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks in advance. Equipment was delivered in time. After installation and adjustment of the machine, we were able to assess its quality. Plastic packaging for penicillin vials was stacked in a special compartment for later feeding on the line. Our glass vials were placed in a metal tray to be fed to the conveyor using an auger. The vials were then moved along a conveyor belt for labeling. The project is sure to be successful if that advice was received from a professional.